Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. This guy, he's passing me at two double solid lines there when he passed me there, and it was on a hill or on a on a valley going down, and you couldn't see anything that's coming from the front. But that's the way some drivers drive. Anyways, good morning to everyone. We are uh, running into a little bit of a snag here this morning. I've been having some noise here for the last two weeks on the front of my engine there. I haven't been able to uh, figure out where it's coming from. But I think uh, I think I have figured it out where it's coming from. Uh, I uh, had my uh, running lights on like I normally do overnight and everything. And if the unit works fine, no problem, right? Well, I go to start my truck this morning. Starts up, no problem. A couple of seconds later, my alarm goes on. And as you guys have probably noticed a bunch of times when I'm sitting in the bunk, my alarm goes on, right? Well, that alarm was uh, coming on while my truck was running, and I'm like, that is unusual. That has never happened before. So I looked, and it shows my battery. And normally, it doesn't show my battery in the display. And I looked, and it's only... I think it's at 12.4 volt. Now, the truck is running. I'm like, yeah, the alternator is not charging very strong. So I turned off the lights immediately, and uh, it went all up to a little bit over 13 volt right away. And no, I'm driving. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I can make her home. I really hope. I only have about four and a half hours to go, and I should be home. So. Really hoping that alternator can last till I get home. But we will see, I guess. Yes, we will see. When all of a sudden seizes up or it's not charging anymore, then we might be forced onto the shoulder and uh, have to use the APU unit to charge the batteries up. And then we might be able to run again for half an hour and then charge up the batteries again, run another half an hour or something like that. Maybe I'll call up my wife and. Uh, Maybe uh, go by my shop there and uh, maybe I'll get a hold of him at least. If I, if I get a hold of him, then I could probably get him to release an alternator to my wife and then uh, my wife could just bring it to me. And I could change an alternator myself, I think. There's only a few cables and uh, I think four bolts loose in the belt. That's about it, right? So, so yeah. Let's keep our fingers crossed that that's going to stay together till we get home at least. Even if I was to get really close to home, I'd be happy with that already, you know. At least uh, I don't have a heavy load, so yeah. Anyways, let's continue on with our journey. At least let's keep our fingers crossed that we can. I just popped down to 13.9 there for a second again, then it went back up to 14. Volt. I got the screen set so where I can see the voltage now and usually it's at between 14.1 uh, to 14.3 volt that it's charging so I know it's definitely the alternator I know the alternator is weak there it goes again 13.9 so it's definitely not charging the way it's supposed to so yeah my alternator is getting changed tomorrow for sure so anyways Let's hope we have ourselves a good day and we can make it home. And thank you guys for joining me on this journey today. Here we are guys, we are already in Manitoba. Actually, we're almost home already. I got about 25 kilometers to go and I will be home sweet home. Yeah, so far the old 
alternator has been holding up, so I will take her in the shop tomorrow and get it all tested out and see, uh, see what's going on. Today is Sunday, so we can't take it to the shop today, so, so yeah, we gotta bring her in tomorrow and test it off and see what's going on with it. If it's bad, we'll have it replaced. But what a gorgeous day it is. You guys see that nice sunshine? I wish it would have been this nice last weekend when we was camping. Oh well. I've been getting a lot of comments on uh, on the fishing video there about not wearing a life jacket. And, oh well. I guess it's my decision. I've fished like that for many years and uh, I know how to swim. I know that freezing water will uh, will usually kill you, but uh, I mean, if I fall in the water, we were there with friends and three other adults. So as long as they're not falling into the water, I'm good to go, right? And even if you know I fall in the water, we have the life jackets close by. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. If you guys want to pick on it, pick on it. I guess. I don't really care. I'm going to continue fishing. Whether it's with the life jacket or without the life jacket, we'll see. Or I just won't show you the videotape of me fishing. We'll decide at that point. But anyways, we are almost home. We're going to have ourselves a fine day no matter what and we will see you in a bit hey guys we are home got ourselves a much needed shower hey we have an ice cream now summertime we're gonna to go to Winnipeg and uh, we're gonna have some nice dinner my dad is taking us out for my uh, birthday uh, dinner. He says he's gonna pay for everything. What you say, Ben? Uh, 28 degrees. Mm -hmm. 28 degrees. Nice and warm up here. Anyways, we'll be back, guys. Hey, guys, we are in Montana here in Winnipeg. And have a look at that. We got some beef ribs uh, up here, some corn and a baked potato. And uh, we're fixing to have some dinner. This is for you. That's how it looks. And what's your name? Rudy. Rudy? Yeah. And how old are you? How old do you want to be? 33. 33? Yeah. Alright. You have the horn. There you are. Right. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'll let you hold those. Alright. All right. Attention Montana, we have Rudy celebrating his 33rd birthday with us. Can we get a round of applause?
Tutta Savara. Tutta Savara. behind me that day is gonna come